So you've made it to the end to the boss encounter of Ghost of the Deep. And this is a pretty fun encounter. You're facing some, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. You're facing a big taken wizard. Let's leave it at that. What you've learned through most of the encounters are going to lead up to finishing this particular boss. First off, it's a big arena. You'll notice there's waterways on the right and left. We'll get to that in a little bit. There's a ton of ads and there's a boss in the middle. The other thing you may notice is there's areas that look like hands or feet or things like that, that if you stand near them, you'll see green circles extending around those. Again, more on those in just a second. One of the key things you're gonna to need to do in this encounter is getting deep sight. The deep sight is used to reveal the three points of the triangle that you're gonna to need to complete DPS. That triangle connects three of those areas I mentioned earlier where you stand in the green circles. So there's gonna be three of them, form a triangle, and you have to connect all those again to get to the DPS phase. After you kill the primary abs in the encounter, more abs will spawn, and then a special larger knight will spawn that will come after you. You need to lure these knights to one of the three corners of the triangle indicated by deep sight and killing them in the circle. Once you do this, a green circle will show up in the air. And if you look through it, you'll be able to see a taken symbol that you have to shoot through the green circle. One thing you need to be careful about is the boss will actually warp to you when you do that. So it might be worth taking a second to move and relocate, but if the boss is in the way of shooting that, you may have to put something protective down while you're making that shot. Do this and that will complete that corner of the triangle. You need to do a total of three of those to complete the triangle. The other thing to note is that for some reason when you kill the knight and you don't see the green circle, one of two things has happened. Either you have not killed the knight inside the green circle, right? They caused, again, the green circle on the ground. They caused that other green circle to show up to shoot. Or there are some smaller knights that may be hiding in different parts of the room that you did not kill. And you need to do that before you can actually have this work. Again, continue to do this for all three knights. And that, and again, the three corners are co complete. At this point, you will be able to see symbols similar to what you've used in the entire raid. Team composition at this point as you get closer to the DPS phase depends on your comfort of the roles. If you're super comfortable, everyone can actually go get symbols and be a symbol runner and no ad clear. But again, ads are gonna be the issue as you do that and getting deep sight. The more traditional way is probably going to have one person stick in the main room on ad clear and the other two people go off and get symbols. If you're really struggling with this, you can send two people into one symbol room at a time so that you feel you so that you're a little bit more careful, but that's going to take longer to get to your DPS phase. The symbol rumbers remember the symbols that were in the central room from the triangle and they go into the water cavern scattered across the edge of the arena. There are no air bubbles in the passageway, so you're, you're not going to have that, but they're fairly short. So as long as you keep moving, you should be fine. Some of the passageways we split two ways. So again, you may, depending on what you're looking for, may have to go left or right going through those caverns. Your goal is to find an area with ads. Every area of ads will have a symbol. Kill the Lucent Hive and the ads, and then bring that buff back to the main area. One thing to note is if you go back to the cave to get the buff again for that symbol, because you lost it or you died, you will not see that symbol show up again. You'll have to remember what was there before. You can still kill the ads, you can still kill the Lucent, but you will not see the symbol. That's one thing to keep in mind. As a reminder, it's really important to remember the symbol that you're supposed to take because if you put the wrong one in, you'll die and you'll have to do it over again. Again, during this time, the ad clear person is gonna be killing ads. And when the runners get close, it's going to get deep sight so the runners can place the buffs in the orbs that correspond to the symbol. So in each of the symbol areas where you connected those three parts of the triangle, there'll be a little area that looks like what looks like in the uh, King's Fall at the very beginning when you're putting the orbs in. But in this case, you will just put your buff in and as long as it's the correct one, you'll complete that portion of the triangle. Keep in mind, Deep Sight has a very short timeout, so it can run out. So you're gonna wanna make sure you do that as quick as possible towards the end when they come out. Do this in all three corners, and then each of the three corners will have that debuff that'll allow you to take down the shield for the boss. So for a period of time, stand in that and shoot the boss until you take the shield down. After that point, you can set up wherever you wanna do the DPS. One thing to keep in mind is the boss can get close to you, but it can also be further away. So you're probably going to need things that shoot a little further. The other thing is the boss moves around quite a bit. They'll, the boss will stay in place for a period of time, but then I, I've seen DPS phases where it moves three or four times. So keep that in mind, especially if you're using rockets or things that are longer range, you may miss some shots because of that. My team the first day ran rockets and we did fairly good on DPS. I also combined that with Gathering Storm, but again, 
damage is not a huge issue on this encounter like it has been in some of the other dungeons recently so again as long as you have a decent setup you should be able to get to it fairly quickly one really important final note is that the boss is a lucent hive you will need to kill its ghosts or it will respawn and this happened to us with limited amount of health and you'll have to repeat the damage phase again nice surprise bungee but at the same time you know it's to be expected there is no enrage mechanic with this encounter so once you're com you can take as many phases as you want to complete the encounter and again then you're finished you get you finish the boss and you get the loot overall super fun and challenging dungeon with some of the most unique mechanics i've seen in dungeon in quite a while so i i, I quite enjoy it. it's a beautiful dungeon i also appreciate it bungie brought the challenge of dungeon with mechanics and gameplay versus making the, bu the boss's bullet sponges. Again, that can take the fun out of any encounter. Again, super fun dungeon. I know you guys will enjoy it. That's the video, guys. If you liked it, feel free to like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Jump my Discord. And I'll see you guys in the tower.